In the face of a potential invasion, a show of strength from the people of Kyiv. Thousands of people marching down the streets of the Ukraine capital city today, rallying against potential Russian advances. While Russian troops assemble at the northern Ukraine border, U.S. President Joe Biden spoke with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin over the phone today. In a tweet, the White House says Biden made it clear to Putin that if Russia further invades Ukraine, the U.S. and our allies will impose swift and severe costs on Russia. The White House says President Biden urged Putin to engage in de-escalation and diplomacy instead. The warning comes as U.S. security officials say an invasion could be imminent. Uh, we continue to see very troubling signs of Russian escalation, including new forces uh, arriving around Ukraine's borders. Uh, as I said yesterday, we're in the window uh, when a Russian invasion can start at any time if President Putin so decides. Canada, the U.S. and the European Union are among nations urging citizens to evacuate Ukraine right away. Canadian officials began relocating diplomatic staff from Kyiv to Lviv, Ukraine, because of the buildup of Russian troops. In a statement, Global Affairs says Canada's diplomatic presence and strong engagement in Ukraine will continue. Services for Canadian citizens will also continue to be offered from a temporary office by appointment only. However, our ability to provide consular assistance could become increasingly limited. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau spoke with the president of Ukraine today to emphasize Canada's support for Ukraine, which includes military training and financial assistance. Russia is estimated to have over 100,000 troops stationed at the border. Military exercises have been ongoing by both sides. Russia denies having any plans to invade Ukraine. Melissa Nakavali, City News.